just be yourself. And like, of course, it's going to be people that are like, going to bully you for it. People are not going to accept you. People are not going to understand it. And I don't care if people understand it. Like I was myself just to be myself. So like, I definitely, I had those fears. I still do have those fears, but I think now I'm more mature and I'm much more confident because like now I'm making a career out of it. Like you can't like, this is my brand and this is what I have to say. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Welcome to the Tea On, where we sip tea and we talk about things, preferably things that matter. And I think the conversation that we are going to have today um, definitely matters because um, just your existence in itself is enabling so many people to step into their raw and authentic selves, which is incredible and purposeful. And so I'm going to let you introduce yourself, but today I am here with Cody Dillon, who is just like a pop star sensation, honestly, like yeah. doing the damn thing. So yeah, introduce yourself, let the people know who you are. Sure. Well, um, I'm Cody Dillon. I am a pop artist in Nashville. Um, currently working on getting my first record out, um, hopefully by the end of August or September. So I'm super excited for that. Um, yeah, so my music's just like a fuse of like dance music with real shit that I talk about. So yeah, yes, it's pretty yes. much me in a nutshell. <laughs> Literally, and it's, it's, it's such fun music. It's so, uh, yeah. it's like exactly what we needed right now too, because I think that like, Music can get very like, especially when you're going through so much, people can get really expressive mm -hmm. in their music and pour a lot of like pain into their music and stuff. And so sometimes we just need something that's like, even though your lyrics do like hit a nerve, right? there's fun in, in the cadence of it, which I think um, is purposeful, totally. Yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure that whenever I was writing the music that like, I was talking about some real and and deep things, but like, I wanted to make it fun because 2019 and even into 2020, like we've all dealt with a lot of like real stuff and we've dealt with a lot of pain and like some of us different than others. So like the music's very painful, but like, I want to make it, I want to dance through the pain. I, I don't like to sit and relish in the pain. I like to get through it and be happy. I don't want to sit in it. So yes, yes. Uh, totally. It's 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 an, it's an embodiment of like the transition and the healing. Yeah. yeah, totally. I love to see it. And basically, what I think. Oh, let me quiet this. Up. <laughs> what I'm so excited to explore with you is this idea that like, and in your videos and even like on your Instagram and how you present yeah. yourself, you are so boldly and unapologetically you. You know, you wear your colors. You're you're vibrant. You're yeah. expressive, and it's. I mean, it's, it's incredible to see just like as a human being, because I think we all need to step into a place where we are uh, comfortable in being our authentic selves. But I think it's especially important for younger boys to see you, boys who sure. may not be as comfortable expressing like their femininity or expressing, you know, art through their clothing. And so I want to explore a little bit about like what that journey has been like for you. So first and yeah. foremost, you know, were there fears that you had to overcome when like embodying this yeah. person that you've stepped into. Plenty. I like when I tell you every I wouldn't want to say that fear controls my life, but it's definitely something that lingers in the back of my head. Like I mean, we all do. We all have our own insecurities. Especially me. I was like I grew up in a very sheltered small town full of all white people. There was no culture. It was just like I felt trapped. I didn't feel like I belonged there. Um, everyone was so far behind where I was so far ahead. And I like, I always knew I was obsessed with music. I was always obsessed with fashion and pop culture. I was so into it. And I definitely have to like, thank like Lady Gaga for like really inspiring me at such a young age. To just like, just be yourself. And like, of course it's gonna be people that are like, gonna bully you for it. People are not gonna accept you. People are not gonna understand it. And I don't care if people understand it. Like I was myself just to be myself. So like, I definitely, I had those fears, I still do have those fears, but I think now I'm more mature and I'm much more confident because like now I'm making a career out of it. Like you can't, like this is my brand and this is what I have to say and if you don't like it, you don't like it. 
so like that's basically like really like just how I feel at this point in time because like of course there's been people that like judge me for the way I look or for the way that uh, my music is or like how I sing like it's just like every single thing is like people want to nitpick at it and it's just like go ahead and do it it's gonna go in this year and it's gonna go out the other because I don't care I'm doing it for me I'm doing it for the message that I'm trying to spread to other people who maybe feel like I did like who felt sheltered and like they're being pushed down into someone that they're not so that's why I do it and it uh, and honestly just like fills up my heart and it fuels me to do more so like when people have something to say say it because it, it helps me drive further absolutely and I mean yeah. first of all, I love what you said about like the fact that you've always been so far ahead because that is recognizing that like this is the place that we need to be moving towards. We, we need to be moving away yeah. from, from labeling and from judging and then exactly. moving to a place where people are just are themselves. And so I, I love the fact that you recognize that you are in a place that's ahead and where right. we are hopefully going towards. And I mean, the fact of the matter is that people are going to have something to say no matter what. So are you gonna let them say stuff while you are harboring and, and withholding the person that you really are? Or are you gonna let them talk while you're Boldly being you. So I, I right. love that. Exactly. And you mentioned Lady Gaga, who absolutely, and I can tell she's an influence because just like, yeah. like the, the, yeah, like the videos and stuff. I'm like, we love Bad Romance. I, I, I stand. She's incredible. And I wanted to know if there were any men that you saw that also enabled you. Yeah. Growing I would up. Really say like, um, I, at first when I, like when I was younger, it was mainly Lady Gaga. She was pretty much my, my biggest influence, I was like into all of her music, but like she kind of helped me introduce me into some of like the earlier artists that like kind of paved the way for artists like her. So like that's when I started to get into David Bowie. I was like literally became obsessed. Like I like listened to his music like every single day. Like I did a photo shoot that was David Bowie inspired a couple weeks ago that hopefully I have to share very soon. So, um, it's just like artists like that and like definitely the Beatles. I was super inspired by the Beatles whenever I was in piano lessons, like when I was like 13 through whenever I graduated, I was always playing Beatles songs. Like it's just like artists like that who were not afraid, like in a time like in the 60s throughout the 90s, who just didn't care. They just made music and people were like, okay, that's really weird because back then, like you didn't have these artists who were like, I'm gonna push boundaries. Like I'm just gonna follow the the set the whatever you want to call it yeah. yeah and those artists were not afraid to be themselves and make music that may not make a whole lot of sense to most people but they're gonna do it because that's who they are they're staying true to their artistry and who they are as a person absolutely and and now you doing it so loudly is yeah. enabling people who are looking at you to do the same thing. So like, oh, same, don't worry. <laughs> but literally, same, and it's, I hope you recognize that there is such a bold purpose in you yeah. being this version of yourself and you letting kids who perhaps feel any sense of like disconnection from that side of themselves to be able to step into it. So yeah, so know that there's a purpose in it. Um, and so how do you think we as a society can move more towards um, letting people embrace themselves in a more expressive manner. You know, what, what do you think we need to change? Um, a, lot. a lot, to be honest. Um, yeah. I don't know, I just feel like people are so hard-headed in their ways and like, we're all stuck in like, we each have an opinion. We like, cause I don't wanna get the wrong impression that people's opinions don't matter. They do matter. Right. But I want people to be able to be open to change. I want people to be open to love. Like, if you lead a life with love, you're set. Like, all I've ever done is put positivity and love into every equation. And although some people just, like, are beyond, like, like me, like, I, I, I'm still going to love you no, no matter how rude you're being to me, how much you like saying about me. It, it's hard. It's hard to put so much love out to people who are giving you pure hate and pure negativity. It's hard, but I think if we go with that standard of like living with love and light and trying to put as much positivity, especially now, especially what we have gone through as a country, as a, a world in this year, I feel like it's 
now more important than ever to put so much love and so much positive intent and energy out into the world and like it's possible you can do it and like i know people are scared of change because like like this year was a whole kind of like eye opener for that like we all had to change in a way that we were never expected to change like some of us are still in trying to figure out new routines i definitely am trying to figure out a new routine i've like changed routines maybe like 20 times this year so far but like i feel like that is the way we're going to move forward as like just a society is like you have to be there for one another no matter how hard it is like some people are a little bit more um sheltered and some people are a little bit more out there and i feel like those people that are out there you have the voice you have the courage to be a voice and lead the way so do it like show these people help these people bring stick your hand out to someone that may not feel comfortable enough to do it mm -hmm. so i feel like that's the only way that we're ever going to move forward and kind of be more comfortable with being just like ourselves and who we are as like a society. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. What a beautiful, beautiful message. I don't even know if you realize you just like dropped such a gem, which is that so yeah. much of our like collective suffering and like the oppression of one another can be solved. Yeah. We just individually start like leading from love, you know? I know. And then pouring loving intention into what we're doing, which you can yeah. tell there's so much loving intention into what you're doing. There's um there's a purity behind it that is yeah. so incredible. Now I know you come from Nashville, right? Were you always in Nashville or um, no, I actually moved here about almost three years ago. Yeah. I'm from like a very small town in like East Tennessee. So it was like right. whenever I like finished high school, I was like my my dream was to go to New York, but uh -huh. it didn't work maybe one day it might hopefully soon fingers crossed yes. but, um, I decided I was gonna move to Nashville kind of mm. just kind of get myself going in music yeah. like really step into full gear and I think over the three years I've been here I've accomplished so much that it's kind of like honestly surreal so it's like mm. you know it was a blessing in disguise I never expected to come to Nashville like I've been here I think maybe a total of like three times in my entire life and then I just moved here like like that and here i am doing doing my thing so oh 100 percent. and uh, i mean first of all you, your path is always going to unfold the way that it's meant yeah. to be, and you're going to end up exactly where you're meant to be when you're meant to be right. I, I trust that for sure and I, I would safely say that nashville is serving you in the moment because you're you're right. blossoming in a way that's so incredible um and and coming from a smaller town which i'm sure could have obviously been smaller minded were there times when it was empowering to be different as opposed to it being like intimidating yeah. to be different? Yeah. For sure. I was always, I mean, I was still myself then, mm -hmm. like as I am right now. I, but I was very much more, I was a little bit more reserved in a way where I would kind of, I would tweak like how I would dress every single day. I would make it look not too crazy, but I would like, I would still be true to myself. And I mean, I was a little, people would like to say that I was shy because I just didn't talk a lot, but that's because like, I was so afraid to open up to people just to like push me back down. So I was like, I'm gonna keep to myself. I've already had years enough of being like bullied and kind of just being like picked on for just being myself. Like that, that in, in a sense, I just, I can't wrap my head around how people can target and pick on people who just, who are expressing themselves. I, I don't think I could ever understand that. Fine. But yeah, it's crazy. But I, I was very, I stayed true to myself and I, I don't want to like hide myself up, but I think I literally kind of let an influence around like where I was. Cause I would feel like trends that I would do or like things that I was like about. I feel like people started to kind of open up to it and work into it and then it became cool. So I was like, I, I know I'm not a trendsetter because I'm not treated like a trendsetter, but I see what you guys are doing. Sometimes the trendsetters aren't recognized because right. they don't want to hate, but like, you know True. when you started something and you know when the waves are yours. So right. own that, own that for sure. And I mean, it, it's always the people who are labeled and who are seen as different that are actually turned out to be like futuristic and ahead of their time yeah. will just end up catching up so exactly thank you for leading the way and thank you for being a way shower um how do you feel the most comfortable in the way you express is it through your fashion or through your lyrics and through your voice um i feel like it's all very collectively the same mm -hmm. uh, 
love that. Because I, I really do, I do believe that I'm equally expressive to them both. I mean, sometimes I wish I could be more fashion, fashionably expressive. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I mean, that comes like with resources and whatnot. And sometimes you just gotta be creative with what you got. Yes. So, that That's how I t- choose to live that. I. I dream so big and I have like such a crazy imagination that like I sketch like outfits all the time like it's just like it's crazy because like I if you look through like my notebooks and like my sketchbooks it's just like worlds that I've created like I've created like whole tour like scenes and whatnot it's just like it's crazy what's in my mind but um I definitely feel like they go hand in hand especially being an artist like you have to have that look you have to have that brand that like says this is you and i mean i've always been that like i fashion has always been a part of me like even my hair like people would i would change my hair like every year and people would be like oh well what's you gonna do with it now like it was like it was changing all the time because i hated staying in the same look i always wanted to evolve i always wanted to become I wouldn't say someone different but i wanted to become something different i always had a new story i always had a new era um, to like talk about something new. And so I feel like even with like the look of it all and the aspect of it, I feel like the lyrics have to go hand in hand. Yeah. Um, like especially with all the new music that's coming out with this album I'm about, yeah. about to put out. Yeah. I feel like it's all about like a futuristic kind of world where we all feel kind of like we're on a machine and we're just being like all kind of like this is how you should act, this is how you must be, all right, on to the next. Like, kind of just like a conveyor belt of people just being shipped and packaged off to live the same life. Whereas me, my message with that is I'm trying to break out of that mold and just be comfortable with being yourself. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's why all these crazy fashion choices that I'm like choosing and like with the video, I'm definitely trying to make a statement with who cares what, what gender you are, what age you are, what, whatever it may be like experiment and just be weird like you know like Let's it's be weird. Life's too short. life is too short absolutely oh my gosh you just said so many like valuable things i think we do need to step into a place where we embrace evolution and where we embrace change imagine how boring like staying stagnant is but you know when it's your comfort zone right people like to say in there and I think it's more people enabling this idea of like reinventing yourself that is going to like oh, yeah. um, push people to do the same in their own individual lives and I'm so excited for it so the album is called Collusion right mm-hmm. so I think that is such a important and beautiful intention and purpose behind this, this right. work and I think uh, it goes hand in hand with who you are and even what this conversation is about which is just you right. know um the way that we change the world is through changing ourselves. It's through an individual act. And so we all individually make the effort to step into our most authentic expressions. We can have such a loving and beautiful and colorful universe. So I'm so excited to see how, um, you know, the the, the tides that this, this album is gonna make. So can you tell us more about it? You know, how yeah. you fun with it? Um, well, I mean, I definitely, spent I think I actually started writing for it maybe last May so like May of 2019 so like six months to a year and I mean I was I was writing songs up till literally June like for it like I wrote a song um during quarantine called Savoy Hour that's kind of about feeling like lonely and feeling um just kind of so it's like it's basically a song about loneliness but like it's about feeling so alone that it's just like you start to imagine someone or something there that's just like that can comfort you mm. and I, mean, like, I feel like we all could kind of relate to that like some oh, of us were yeah. definitely like cooped up for so long by ourselves that we like started seeing things we started seeing people <laughs> that weren't even there and you just like you had to feel that sense of like someone was there to like hold you and tell you that it's gonna be okay yeah so, that was one of the songs for the album uh, um, there's a lot, like, majority of the songs are, like, dance music, but there is a couple songs that are a little bit more chilled, and, um, I definitely wanted to have that variation between, like, very high energy and also kind of, like, mellow energy, because I know some people, 
are not into all like the whole like upbeat and like fast paced music. And I know that I want to reach out to those audience members who know me for kind of maybe some more mellow tracks that I've made in the past. And I kind of want to make something for them to kind of chill out to and kind of just listen to. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of differentiation, but it's all, okay. the songs are very much real topics. Um, I definitely went through a lot of real things over the past year. And I remember like COVID and like quarantine never happened. So like whenever it happened, I was like, oh my God, I feel, I feel like now everyone's gonna understand like the reality of this music and like how raw and truthful it was. So I feel like now it's much more relatable to people who maybe it wouldn't have been relatable four months, right. six months ahead when I was writing it. Totally. So yeah, it's, just, it's honestly a journey that I really just can't wait for people to hear, but it, I, like I'm just so excited to put it out because like I put so much into it and so much heart. Mm, and that's when people connect to it when there's real authentic like emotion. Yeah. It, it, it comes from you. Uh, we're yeah. so excited to hear it. And how about visuals? Because your last video, I mean, I was telling you before, the choreography itself was incredible. So are we gonna see more of that or? I I hopefully that's what I really want to start doing. I just have to open my schedule for it. Wow. Um, because I definitely have so many, so many like visions for like each song that I just kind of want to bring it to fruition. And it's just like with Savoy Hour, I didn't, I don't want to put it out as a single, but I definitely have a visual plan for it that I really kind of want to execute because it's such a, it's one of my favorite songs. And it's like, it's very dreamy. It's very like, it's a song that I feel like you could lay down outside and look up at the stars and just kind of like vibe to. Mm. And that's what I do sometimes. Like I'll go outside and just like lay in my backyard and just look at the stars and listen to it. Like oh, it's just like it's one of those songs that it, it really kind of just like brings me back down. And yeah. even though it talks about like being lonely, it's like it's still just like it gives you like so much happiness. Incredible, yeah. And I mean, you need to have that own connection. So like, yeah. you know, those different times when you express things that you were going through. And I think so many people are gonna be able to really see themselves in your music. Um, mm -hmm. Because so many of us see ourselves in you, you know, I think we all have that part of us that wants to like be bold and brave, um, whether we choose to embody it or not. So um, yeah. there's just, there's such a divine purpose for what you are doing. Aside from, you know, the fact that you're an artist who's artisting um you are you're, you're leading the way and you are going to help us really step into like i said a world that's diverse and inclusive so yeah. thank you for everything that you do let the people know where to find you and yeah um well once again i'm cody dylan um you can check me out on my website it's codydylan.com um i have music on apple music spotify whatever you listen to i'm probably on there um definitely iHeartRadio. i've done a couple podcasts on there and i my music on there um, and make sure to go check out my music video for Don't Fall Love in LA. It's on my YouTube channel. So yeah. And it's so good. Thank you, Cody. You are such a light. And for me, you can find me on YouTube and Instagram at Jasmine Kyleen or visit lalilaluna.tv. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>